welcome to Branch Living Foshan, a refreshing touch to continuity. A connection to Poly U Foshan, Branch Living serves the campus community and short stay visitors by providing living, rest, and workspaces through a cultural experience and sustainable network of local resources. Our green embedded operations allow our community to effortlessly be a part of a sustainable carbon neutral future. Our home base of traditional style chilo buildings serve as comfortable living spaces for our guests, with work, rest facilities, and stores conveniently located around the neighborhood. Just walking distance to the university, not only are guests able to efficiently head to campus, we also welcome students and academic staff to use our ample facilities in our home base community. Our greenhouse library is located in a cozy area with both indoor and outdoor areas to suit all habits and moods. Our local community farm serves as a great place for our gardening club community, local staff, and student volunteers to develop a green thumb. And our produce supplies our restaurants and cafes in our network. Our Branch Living City hotspots are resort existing traditional chilo buildings around the city. They serve as great destinations for our guests and university network to explore their new surroundings. These buildings can host local stores, cafes, workshops, studios, and exhibition space. Through repurposing these chilo buildings into branch facilities, we hope to revitalize local neighborhoods and provide our short stay in campus community with a sustainable network of local resources in the city. Let us guide you through a journey of how our branch living community uses our network. This is Olivia, a marketing manager from Shanghai. She's here in Foshan for the first time to teach a week long workshop at PolyU. She arrives at branch living and is excited because she had never stayed at a traditional Foshan Chilo building before. Branch living welcomes her. She enters the room, and after putting down her belongings, she sees that her living experience will contribute to the local community and environment, and wonders how. She picks up the free snack mix with the iPad, and it is a locally made mango bing. She had never had it before, and was happy that it tasted very fresh, and notes that Foshan local food seems to suit her taste. She looks around and notices that the amenities and products in the room are locally made, Olivia opens the windows, breathing in the fresh air, and sees that there are large open fields nearby where some students are eating and resting. Although it was very tempting to go there, Olivia was feeling a bit tired, so she decides to revise her workshop material in her room instead. After working for a bit, she decides to find a place to eat and heads down and finds a nearby restaurant within Branch Living. The food was fresh and delicious, the restaurant manager explains to her that all the ingredients from the restaurant comes from the local farm nearby. He also explains that he is part of the farming community as Branch provides different types of skill training. Liu is a local Foshan citizen. He joined the Branch Living Job Rotation Program after losing his job at a factory during COVID. Ever since he started working in Branch three months ago, he has rotated in roles in both managing the community farm and chilo exhibition space. This month, he is training at one of the branch restaurants. He talks to Olivia as she is interested in where the food was from. So he started explaining how the ingredients came from the farm that he was training in last month. He had a great time as he was working alongside new co-workers and student volunteers to manage the farm. His grandparents used to have a farm but the land was bought for redevelopment when he was young. He felt like the farm working experience was very meaningful and he made a lot of new friends and learned many new skills. He tells Olivia that today was his last day working in the restaurant and that he learned a lot about the F&B industry. The next day, Liu heads to his new rotation of the month, which is training to manage the exhibition spaces at a nearby branch building in the city. Liu meets Min, a local design student who is setting up her solo exhibition. 
She feels excited that her work is being displayed for the first time in such a professional setting. Her friends and family are going to be so proud of her. After she finishes setting up, she goes on Branch Living's website to book a studio to work in. Her major doesn't provide her with studio space, and she doesn't like working in her dorm since it's too crowded with her roommates around. She likes using Branch Living Studios because it has a very cozy aesthetic with a bit of Foshan culture. Since moving to this new city, she doesn't have a lot of time to explore and feels lonely sometimes. So she tries her best to find new places to go to other than the academic places on campus. The next day, she heads to the Branch Living Library. She likes the coziness of the library as it's always a relaxing place to study in. She sees Olivia nearby reading a book and decides to head outside with the book she just borrowed. She enjoys the natural breeze while she finishes her book and heads to the branch living workshop she signed up for nearby. Today, she is learning about silk dyeing. The instructor is a retired elderly woman who made Foshan style dyed silk scarves for a living. Min feels happy that she got to make a silk scarf and she plans to give it to her mom during her next visit home. She loves that Branch Living offers ways for her to learn local culture easily and also make new friends in this community. To Min, Branch Living is the perfect network for her to live a balanced work and rest lifestyle.